Welcome back everyone to Wake Up West Texas out here live near San Angelo Stadium this morning. It's a nice morning out here. We got lots of sunshine. We got a pretty good southerly breeze out here as well. Temperature sitting in the 70s. Really nice once again in the morning. It's always nice in the morning, but then it gets hot later on in the day. So once again, you want to come outside, do it early on because like I said, it's gorgeous out here, but it's going to get hot later on. And speaking of the heat, We've been uh, dealing with those triple digit temperatures a lot this year. How much? Well, up at Abilene, officially 14 days above that 100 degree mark. San Angelo, though, well ahead of the pace. 37 days so far in 2020 above 100 degrees, the highest being 110 on July 13th to 14th. Abilene, we're at 108 on July 13th to 14th. We're going to add to these triple digit days over the next few days. Good news is it's not going to be 110. So that's some good news, but still over 100 in the average. Number of days we see above 100 is about 18, so we're well above, especially in the Contra Valley, well above average for the year. Record though is 100, we should not near that, so, so that's some good news there. We still have to add about 63 more days to get up to, work, to 100 days of 100 plus degree weather. Not expected to do that, that's some good news, but hot and dry weather is what we're going to expect and that is not leading to the best conditions for fighting wildfires. And speaking of wildfires, take a look at this update from last night. Still waiting for the morning update from the Texas A&M Forest Service, but as of last night, the Mays Fire out in San Saba and McCulloch counties, officially 9,500 acres, and it is now officially 70% contained. So starting to get a little bit more containment on this fire, but still an active situation. In the Pocket Complex Fire in Valverde and Crockett counties, estimated at 625 acres, that is 70% contained. And we'll keep you updated on MyFoxZone.com with the latest information. Take a look right now. Downtown San Angelo looking good. A few high-level clouds moving through the Concho Valley. That's about it. It's nice. Temperatures in the upper 70s. Dew points in the low 60s. And we got that pretty good southerly wind as well, keeping us cooler this morning. Temperatures area-wide, mainly in the mid to upper 70s to start off your morning, where we were exactly pretty much yesterday and where we'll be tomorrow morning as well, each and every day of the next several. That's where we'll start the mornings in the 70s, go for the triple digits later on. Winds, like I said, pretty strong this morning out of the south, mainly between about 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting this afternoon to 25 miles an hour. So where's the trash can later on? Well, they're going to be knocked over. I actually see a few traffic cones here in a parking lot here at San Angelo Stadium. They're knocked over already. Expect uh, some of your trash cans to be knocked over as well. Nothing crazy with the winds but uh, gusts upward 25 miles an hour are possible later on today. Satellite radar, no rain here in the state of Texas. Closest shower activities off into New Mexico, Oklahoma, Kansas. Not dealing anything here in West Texas. Zooming in, we are clear, looking good for your Thursday morning. Beautiful morning, but it's going to get hot. Like I said later on, highs today anywhere between about 97 and 103. So another hot day in store for us across West Texas, adding for many of us to that triple digit count. Make sure to take it easy. Drink plenty of water later on this afternoon. Your five-day forecast, not much changes. Mainly sunny skies, south winds at about 10 to 15 miles an hour each and every day of the next several through your weekend. Temperatures right about 100 up in the big country. Concho Valley, about 102 to 104 for the afternoon highs. Lows in the middle 70s. So make sure to get outside early on before it gets hot later on in the afternoon. Much more Wake Up West Texas coming up after the break.